Hey guys, how's it going? Merry Christmas. I have a Christmas tree. See, it's right back here. Nice, isn't it? So I thought I'd sit over here to the side so you can look at the tree. Okay, you see it. That's it. We're done. All done with the tree. Anyway, I'm, uh, let's see, it's 11.15 uh, p.m. Christmas Eve, and I'm doing my um, video all about It's a Wonderful Life. Getting around to it finally, I thought Christmas Eve would be a perfect time to do it. It's a Wonderful Life, which I have on this double bill with White Christmas. Picked this up not that long ago, maybe a year ago. And uh, I have to say that although I do like this film, it is not one of my uh, enduring favorites for Christmas. I uh, don't remember seeing this hardly at all when I was growing up. I have no memory of it being a, a, a big important film in my life. And uh, But I did see it. I remember seeing it at least once all the way through, but it, it wasn't that long ago. It might have been back in the 1990s. I think I saw it on cable TV. And uh, when I watched it recently after buying this, I, uh, in fact, it was just a few months ago that I finally got around to, to watching it. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. There were a lot of things I remembered, so I know I'd seen it before, but didn't remember that many details. But yeah, I thought it was a very good film. James Stewart gave a terrific performance. Everybody else was very good, as expected, with people like uh, Donna Reed and Lionel Barrymore. Henry Travers, who played the angel uh, Clarence, is also in one of my favorite films, which I do associate more with Christmas, and that is um, The Bells of St. Mary's, which came out Let's see, this was in 1945, and, and this was 1946, right? So, um, yeah, Henry Travers played a nice supporting role in this, too. A very lovable character actor. And this is one of my favorite movies that I... It's not all about Christmas, but there's a, a segment about Christmas in there, and you, you get to hear um, Bing Crosby as Father O'Malley singing Adeste Fidelis in Latin. So that's kind of nice. So, yeah, I've always uh, kind of sort of gravitated toward this movie at Christmas time, but it's a wonderful life. Even now that I've, I've seen it and thoroughly enjoyed it, I don't really think of it as a Christmas film. I think Bob said the same thing in his video, but uh, very good movie. And I guess um, somebody said it was the first film that that um, James James Stewart made after he came back from the war. He had had a very difficult, very difficult time in the war. I, I know that, but um, and I guess the film was not a big hit when it came out, which is really kind of surprising. You would think that in the immediate post-war era, people would just, you know, love something like this with this beautiful message. And uh, I thought it was a very, very uh, well acted and, and well performed uh, line babbling, I guess. But yeah, I like the movie very much. But it isn't something that I think of necessarily when I go toward Christmas. I would think more of... Um, this Judy Garland, Margaret O'Brien classic, Meet Me in St. Louis, directed by Mrs. Minnelli, which of course isn't all about Christmas, but it, it goes through all the seasons of one year and this family and their experiences during all those seasons. And the last one in the film is, well, no, it isn't the last one, but uh, the, the climax of the film takes place at Christmas time. And that's when you get to hear Judy Garland singing the beautiful song, have yourself a merry little Christmas to uh, a weeping Margaret O'Brien. So that's a very moving and memorable moment. And uh, another film I like for Christmas is this Shirley Temple film from 1934 called Bright Eyes, which has a segment in there that, that takes place at Christmas. And of course, poor uh, orphan Shirley is uh, grateful for any gifts she gets and all that sort of thing. And contrasted by the appearance, the, the first appearance in, well, not the, the first star, well, the first major appearance by another child actress named um, Jane Withers, who is the uh, complete opposite of Shirley Temple and is a rich girl. And she comes down on Christmas morning and just starts uh, ripping all of her presents open like, like a maniac and throwing stuff around and just uh, complaining and bitching in a perfect, perfect uh, way for a kid not to behave on Christmas. Anyway, so I'm babbling, but my favorite Christmas movie is always going to be the 1951 version of A Christmas Carol starring Alastair Sim. This was 
a Christmas tradition in my family. It seemed like it played on the Late Show on Christmas Eve every every night during most of my growing up life, and I still I still love this film a lot. But it's a wonderful life. Now that I've seen it all the way through as an adult, maybe I will start to think about this at Christmas time now. Um, White Christmas is okay. That's another that's another movie I can watch at Christmas time, but it doesn't give me that old sentimental feeling. But maybe after a time I will become sentimental about It's a Wonderful Life. I don't know. Who knows? So anyway, I hope you guys are having a nice holiday. Uh, Christmas is, well, it's pretty quiet around here. Uh, Christmas doesn't really exist in my life this year. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going anywhere. You know, poor me. What the hell? Uh, so it's going to be a very quiet day, but I'm, I'm really not complaining. I, I, it's been a long time since I got excited about Christmas. Every year is different. Some years I don't want to put up the stupid tree and some years I don't want to just get involved in it at all, but I get pulled in by family, which, which is a good thing. And I, I'm grateful for that. But, um, this year I'm not going anywhere because of COVID. It would involve traveling to another state and staying in a hotel for a couple of nights, which is something that I just don't want to do right now. So, oh, by the way, how do you like my t-shirt? Team Wilson? Huh? Uh, I'm sitting here freezing. It's something like 12 degrees and my house is cold, even though I just spent, I just spent $6,000 on a new furnace and I'm still cold. So, uh, well, okay. So I'm, I hope you guys have a nice holiday and um, let me know what you think of my mm, amateurish comments, amateurish comments on It's a Wonderful Life. So, so you guys have a great Christmas and uh, see you in the new year.